Lisa Baker again here at So Indipitous. So we're still on the Halloween spooky track. Um, this year might look a little bit different in regards to how we celebrate Halloween due to that nasty word which we will not even say in this video because this is all about fun, right? So I'm sure you've seen my video of the panel that I discussed with the cats and the bats and the um, jack-o'-lantern treat basket, but I also wanted to talk about some other really, really cool Halloween patterns we have in the shop. So one of my favorites is this Spellbound. I cannot tell you how I fell in love with this pattern. We have sold so many. We do have a few left. You can still get yours. We will ship it out super duper quick. Hopefully you can get it made for this Halloween, but if not, you will have it ready for next year's spooktacular events. But one of the things that hopefully you can see on here is the witch's feet that is appliqued down at the bottom. Now, I'm just going to tell you now, my witch is probably going to have maybe some ruby slippers. I'm not sure yet, but there's probably going to be a Wizard of Oz twist. So, speaking of Wizard of Oz, and because it's Halloween, we all know that everybody loves dressing up like my good friends here, Dorothy and Glenda. So, I invited them today to share in this um, spectacular um, conversation about some really cool Halloween things that we can make. So, like I said, this first one is the Spellbound um, pattern. It is by the Quilt Factory and it finishes out at 54 by 54 as a table runner, if you will, or I should say table square, really. And then you could also use that as a wall hanging, but I mean, to be honest with you, 54 by 54, we could cuddle up on the couch with that. I think everybody will absolutely love this. It is pre-cut friendly, so the quilt that is demonstrated on this is using the Midnight Magic Collection. It is a Moda collection. We do have it here in the shop. I'm sure there'll be a link below if you want to check out some of that. But with the pre-cuts, the five inch square charm packs really does make things move pretty quickly for this center square. So you might want to grab a few of those. But even if we're out by the time that you get over to our shop, we do have yardage and you can cut some up there or even do a little more custom depending on what color flow you want. Now I will tell you in mine, I am not doing just the grays, the blacks, the orange. I am adding some purple in there because what Halloween is not complete without some purple. So I did pull some of the purple prints from the ghouls and goodies collection that we also have here in the shop so anyway i thought you guys might be interested in thinking about that so one of the other patterns that we have in the shop is called jack this one is by prairie grace patterns now jack finishes out at a 57 by 57 and you could definitely do some fat quarters with this and be able to get by and change up your colors of your jack-and-lanterns as you so desire. Maybe even leave some faces off and then you just have some pumpkins. Whatever you want to do, you can make it happen with this. So the cool thing about this is I will tell you, you get a two-in-one. So not only do you get the jack pattern, but also the gala pattern comes in it. So you will have a pattern to start working on for a nice little spring quilt. Um, this one also is a 57 by 57 finished project and it would be so cute for a picnic, you know, due to COVID and things, I think a lot of people are getting back to basics and going out into mother nature and having picnics with their families and friends so they can at least socialize a little bit and be in the open fresh air. So start on your picnic quilt now, but let's get the spectacular stuff. So anyway, so with Jack, you also get Gala. They are in the same package. We have that in the shop as well. We already talked in another video about our panel that come from the Ghouls and Goodies, and you see that there. But the other thing that I wanted to um, talk about is wool. Now, I am a huge, huge love of wool applique. It is something that I just got into a little over a year ago, maybe about a year and a half ago, and I am now obsessed. So if you have never tried wool applique, 
You should, you should. There's so many options out there, whether you're going a very primitive applique um, with a few primitive stitches, or if you're going full blown decked out, I'm talking all the bells and whistles, which I'm sure if you're into wool applique, Sue Spargo probably rings a bell and her stuff is really stitched out. There is um, so many in between, you know, depending on where you want to land. But I loved this wool collection. I don't want to open it up because I want to keep the plastic on for whomever does purchase um, these bundles. But it is um, considered Vintage Halloween by Fig Tree and Company. It was a special bundle that was put together. Um, but your trick or treat bundle, hopefully, you can see it has some yummy creams, orange, a brown, and some black. Um, there will be a link in the video. For you to be able to see that now if you're getting that you must 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 get the best of buttermilk basin in regards to their wool applique there is some great halloween autumn appliques in here we have several of these in um, house i personally own one but there is great projects for you know all throughout this autumn season there's a wall hanging I thought was really, really cute just because it's got a mason jar in it. Who doesn't love mason jars? Um, but this is also a big popular one with the blackbird and the pumpkins. So these wools will definitely work great with some of the projects in this book. So you might want to grab one of those. And hey, I know it's so close to Halloween. You're like, I won't get any of that done for this Halloween but you will have a jump start for next Halloween. And the cool thing is there's some small projects in there that you really could whip up in just a very short amount of time one afternoon. Love it, love it, love it. Um, the other thing I was gonna show you, it doesn't have to do with Halloween, but because we were talking about wool, um, this book is really super cute. So um, 60 plus sweetly stitched designs. Um, this book is by Minky Kim, but the cool thing is there's so many different designs in here that you can use throughout the whole year on many different projects, mix and match. So, so cute. So if you are a beginner wool applique or very experienced, I still think that you will really enjoy this book. Like I said, we have them in the shop. The link will be below. Now, I don't know about you all, but this Halloween has been um, kind of sad, even though we haven't got to Halloween yet, but just knowing that there's not going to be all the trick-or-treaters and all the fun activities, whether you're bobbing for apples or whatever it is that you do at Halloween. For me, one of my fondest memories as a child was always the Halloween carnival. So they would have the haunted houses and they would have the games that you could play to win prizes and just hanging out with your friends and family and just really, really enjoying it and maybe dressing up. So I got a surprise today and I wanna share it with you because it reminded me of a Halloween carnival. Since we can't go to them, of course, I have my friends here with me that makes me feel like I'm at a Halloween carnival, that we have some dresses and some Halloween makeup or whatever. But the coolest thing that I love at a Halloween carnival is cotton candy. So today, my brother went out to the store and he found this cotton candy. I was so super excited. He did buy me two bags. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, here at Soendipitous, we're having our very own Halloween carnival with my good friends, Dorothy and Glenda, and of course you, and we're just going to rock this holiday, even though it doesn't look like the ones in years past. Guys, I love you and I mean it. From Soendipitous, it's Lisa Renee, and don't forget that there's happiness found in every stitch. Unexpected happiness. Enjoy your cotton candy.